Hey there, anime fans. Welcome back to Otaku Recommends, where we bring you the best anime recommendations, reviews, and discussions. Today, we're diving into the world of overpowered main characters who, despite their incredible abilities, hold the lowest rank in their respective worlds. So buckle up and get ready for our top 10 anime, where the OPMC has the lowest rank. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. Anime in this video are not ranked in order but randomly arranged. Let's get started. At number 10 we have Chivalry of a Failed Knight. Iki Kuragani, dubbed by many as a failure as a knight, the only F-class student at the prestigious Hagen Academy, wherein students that study there are going to be future mage knights. With that, Iki tries to prove his strength to a world that sees him as the weakest. This series is engulfed with much comedy and mystery mixed up together to the point that would keep your eyes glued through the screen. Want to know how Iki was able to rise through the ranks? Watch it. I'm sure you will feel the satisfaction I felt seeing him upgrade. Coming in at number 9 is Bleach, an anime that is considered by many as one of the best. This series is one of the big three action anime of all time. This should always be part of your watch list. This anime series follows Ichigo Kurosaki, who can see ghosts. With that peculiar skill, he was able to save Rukia, a Shinigami, from the hollows which then turned him into a substitute Shinigami. This changed Ichigo's life as he slowly began his journey as a sub-Shinigami. This series will blow your mind as you follow Ichigo's life. From uncovering secrets, the origin of the hollows, bankais, and more, Let's not forget how our boy grew stronger and rose through the ranks. This series is sure packed with so many things. Coming in at number 8 is Black Clover, another all-time favorite of an anime series that has a top-tier storyline and character development. Black Clover is a fun anime series that will charm you. From their humor to its action scenes, you won't get over how great this series is. This story follows the nun-loving simp, Asta, who doesn't have any powers but is physically strong. I mean, he consistently trains himself every day to be strong regardless of not having any powers. I tell you, this child's consistency in working out every day is something I could never do. Anyway, our boy aspires to be the next wizard king in the Clover Kingdom. So the first step to achieve that dream is to be part of the Magic Knights of the Kingdom. Do you think he will get to join the Magic Knights with his lack of magic power? At number 7, we have Charlotte. Charlotte is a series that has a lot of plot twists and will leave your blood boiling with rage. The story is about a tiny number of children who attain special abilities once they've reached puberty. The main focus of this series is Yu Otosaka, who is a self-centered, cold-blooded teenage boy that would only do things for his own gain. This boy is quite threatening since he has an ability where he can possess people. Oh, did I mention that the only person he loves is his sister? Well, he is a simp for his own sister. To continue, Yu's abilities are kind of scary in a way because he can possess a person for five seconds and be able to steal their abilities. Hence, I added this to the recommendation list because you would be able to see Yu progress further and attain the title of the One-Eyed Grim Reaper. Number six on our list is Classroom of the Elite, a series that will make use of your critical thinking skills as well as appreciate the bigger picture of each situation the characters are in. It's something I would recommend to my dear readers to binge-watch. Kiyotaka Ayanokoji, enrolled in a government-sponsored high school, was put in Class D. This class is where they put the inferior students who are viewed as incapable. However, little did they know that our boy here has an unrivaled intelligence, which he just doesn't show. But right after he met two of his other classmates, his life started to change as he involved himself with the drama that's happening in his school. How do you think he will show his unrivaled intelligence to the people who look down on him? Let's find out through watching this series. At number 5 we have The Irregular at Magic High School. Two siblings, Miyuki and Tatsuya Shiba, enrolled in the National Magic University First Affiliate Magic High School. In short, Magic High School. These two are part of the Yotsuba clan. One of these siblings is set to be the next heir of the clan. However, they are both in different classes. Miyuki is viewed as one of the best students in the school, while Tatsuya is perceived as magically inept or an irregular at their school. This is because he is different from any other magic user. With that, the sibling's roller coaster journey starts. 
Coming in at number four is The Misfit of Demon King Academy. The story follows the strongest and unbeatable Demon King Anos Voldigoad, who decided to be reincarnated as a student from the future. Since his previous life is full of bloodshed, he hopes that this new life of his will give him some peace and tranquility. Little did he know that his peace would be disrupted because he found out that his name had been forgotten. Instead, the people remembered the wrong name of the previous Demon King from 2,000 years ago. With that, his journey began at the Demon King Academy. At number three, we have Mob Psycho 100, a series that is close to my heart. Mob Psycho 100 is about a student named Shigeo Kageyama who has a secret. He has telekinetic powers that are too OP. If you're wondering how he is part of this recommendation list, then it is because he was seen as someone weak at first. But once he started to show his true powers, people started to fear his strength and capabilities. With that, if you haven't watched this series yet, then I urge you to watch it, my fellow weebs. At number two is Arifureta, from Commonplace to World's Strongest. Most of us weebs would agree that we dreamt about wanting to be isekai to another world. Hajime Nagumo, a weeb, got to experience our dream of getting isekai However, when he thought it's going to be a fun experience, his life turned into a much darker turn compared to his life in the modern world. Spoilers ahead. He was betrayed by his friend and was left on the abyss. With that, he decided to go back to his world. With the help of his baby girl, Yue, the best waifu, he became stronger as he leveled and scoured through the entire abyss. This is where his journey starts, and along with that, he gets to have more baby girls that fall in love with him. Curious about how the story goes? Watch the series. I seriously recommend it to you. And finally, at number one, we have One Punch Man. This anime was the first thing I thought of that screams overpowered and yet has the lowest rank. If you know this anime, then you too will agree that he is one of the best-known OPMCs in the weeb society. Saitama, a superhero that could beat any type of monsters. His special move? With just one punch, the monster will be yeeted to another world. However, what's funny in this series is that, no matter how OP he is, he was ranked low compared to his subordinate, Genos, who was ranked S, the highest rank. With that, you would be able to look into how Saitama slowly rose through the ranks. If this piqued your interest, I recommend you watch this godly anime. And there you have it, our top 10 anime where the overpowered main character has the lowest rank. These anime prove that rank isn't everything, and that determination, hard work, and hidden potential can lead to greatness. We hope you enjoyed our list and found some new anime to add to your watch list. If you think we missed any great anime that fits this theme, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow anime fans. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We're always bringing you the best anime content, recommendations, and discussions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.